Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sam, I'm mum with two boys and I thought I'd pick up and do a vlog. Um, the last type of vlog was the one where I ended up in a Nino. <laughs> um, I'll link that in the description if you want to go and watch it or you could check the channel, whichever. Um, I um, decided after that happened, I decided to take, so that happened on last Wednesday, which I can't believe is a week ago in two days, um, the rest of that week, and I've taken this week off work as well, just to see how I feel without working, whether working is still kind of an option for me, um, and all those kind of things. So I need, I've got myself up and dressed today, um, and I've put makeup on just to make me feel a little bit better. Um, I had a bit of a rubbish night's sleep. This one, where are you? I'm is ready for school. We're going to leave it in a moment. He actually needs some new school trousers because when I was ironing them at, uh, late last night, I realised they've got a little hole in the knee. So I'm going to nip from where I get where I take Alpha to school. There's a bus that runs right up to Asda. It's just falling over, darling. It's just wear and tear. Just don't poke your fingers in it. Don't poke your fingers in it or anything like that today, please. Um, there's a bus that runs straight up to Asda, so I thought Asda probably is the best place to get them and hopefully I can find some shorts for him for school as well. Um, so that is my plan. I'm also going to look at some, try and find some like salty snacks. Um, one of the tips that I've seen online, things that you can do with it is not medication from this potentially what is post pots, um, is like salty things to up your salt intake in a day and up your fluids. I've up my fluids, I'm trying to up my salt but I thought actually having some things that are snacks that are high in salt might help around the house so that's what I'm planning to do today. I'm hoping I can pick his trials up from Asda and I don't have to go anywhere else. I think if I have to go anywhere else I might ask my dad to help me because I'm actually pretty nervous going out the house. Um, I haven't left the house since it all happened. Um, I've had four days of doing absolutely nothing, um, except for yesterday evening. I did a bit of a tidy round, but Dylan's been helping loads with that, washing up and, and stuff like that. But I think it's about time I took myself out the house, otherwise the anxiety of leaving the house will will build and build. So that is the plan for today. So then I thought, what better way actually is just to bring you along with me. It helps me out. Um, so yeah, I shall see you in a little bit. So I've just got home, um, they had no school trousers, I've got my blinking necklace on the back to film, it's twizzled its way around, um, they had no school trousers but I managed to get some shorts so hopefully the weather doesn't rain um, and you can wear those until I'm finding some trousers. I went on the hunt for some like saltier snacks. Um, so I need to put the shopping away. I'm absolutely shattered. Um, I'm tempted to have a lie down. I feel so tired recently. It's unbelievable. Um, I have just got though um, my letter for my sleep study, um, which is really cool. Luckily, it's outpatient. Um, I was really worried that it'd be going to be an inpatient. And obviously, that's really hard. Um, it's harder when you've got kids obviously so it's on the 10th of June I've got to go and pick it up and I've got to have bloods done um, which I'm not sure what they're checking for um, in those um, and I'm going to fit where's that little picture not that that really shows you much but uh, it's got a, a finger a finger probe um, a chest band and by the sounds of it nasal cannulas that go into you it says nasal slash oral cannula that places in the tip of your nostrils and on your top lip. Um, so yeah, so I come home, do the study and then I've got to drop it back off the next morning, which is gonna be a little bit hard. So I'm also gonna to speak to my dad about um, helping me get there and get there the next day to drop it off. This little lady feels just like I, is snoozing like I feel like I want to do. Yes, darling. Um, I think I want to have something to eat first. Um, I, I've got some videos to film. When I was in town on Wednesday before everything went to shit, um, I managed to pick up like some swimwear and like that kind of stuff, clothes. 
so I've, I want to do a video on that and I picked up today some stuff in Asda. Somebody had mentioned that Asda had some really nice bits in so they did have a few actually so I've picked some stuff up and I'm going to do like an Asda try on haul as well. And my idea was to actually film it this afternoon but I am so tired that I just don't have I want to film it to be honest um, I get my hair cut on Wednesday and I can't wait because it'll stop all this um, this one doesn't sit too bad and I don't mind this but this one just goes it is a little bit damp out there so that's probably why but I'm just going to get where it's shorter here at the front I'm going to get a bob taken all the way around um, so yeah, I'm going to have something to eat and I'll see you in a little bit. I am probably going to have a sleep after I have something to eat. <laughs> but hey ho, it's what I've taken the week off work for, so. Oh my gosh, I made myself a cheese and pickle sandwich. I haven't had Branston pickle. I haven't had Branston pickle in years. Well, obviously I was looking for things that would, that I like, that have got maybe a little bit of higher salt content and this was one of them and I thought you know what get in my belly who else likes Branson pickle let me know in the comments if you do too um, as you can see I'm in my bed I've still dressed I'm taking my cardio off I think I'm gonna have a lie down and sleep um I've got a really sore wrist I think I slept funny maybe with it bent um not last night the night before um and it's really sore in like the creases, so that's why I think I've slept with it bent. But look at all that Branston pickle. We're gonna have it. This is Asda's one, and that was actually a, a pickle. Um, normally you can't actually like taste them because they've got like carrots and stuff in it, but that was actually a little pickle. Anyway, I'm gonna eat this, and I'll see you in a bit. Well, I went to sleep and then we had a lady knock for the gas so and then um, mum offered to get Alfie so that's what I did um, I don't know if I'm in a bit of a, a flare up from like stress and emotions and stuff like with fibro or these new meds are making me feel sleepy um, I don't know I don't know what is like causing it in that sense my makeup is all over the shop now um, I'm just making tea the boys have had some tea I had some cauliflower cheese so I'm doing that I don't really fancy much I haven't got a massive appetite this evening um yeah I just feel rubbish and I get really frustrated with myself and I feel this way um I feel like life is flashing before my eyes and I'm not making the most of it so I get quite angry with myself. What sweet Hello. Hello. Alright. Yeah. My pizza is good. Your pizza's good. Yeah. So yeah, I get quite angry with myself. Um and I'm sure lots of people with chronic illness can kind of relate to that. Um And I wasn't going to have a bath tonight because of, I did my hair, although it's all over the place from sleeping. Um, but the minute I live in the bath, like more than usual, and that's a lot for me anyway, all I want to do is just relax in the bath. Um, it's just shitty, isn't it, when you feel like this? It really is absolutely shitty flare-ups or something new is rubbish and it throws everything out absolutely throws everything out um, this one hasn't left my side today while I've been at home um, he slept on the bed with me and so did mummy cat yes didn't you sweetheart they don't normally leave my side when I'm feeling rubbish I am going through drinking so much but I feel dehydrated and um, that is not for you 
there's a piece of pizza left. And this one's it sniffing it. It's for you, is it? Yeah, not for mummy. Did you have anything at after school club? Uh, Didn't think. I just had uh, two. Two what? Uh, pancake and a sandwich. Alright, oh, so you had had something to eat. Mum picked them up a bit earlier. Um, she was taking Busby out for a walk, but I wasn't sure whether they'd be eating. But, um, yeah, I'm drinking fluids, and I don't know if it's beta blockers making me feel like I'm dehydrated, but I'm not doing. Uh, so I've got a funny feeling that feeling I am feeling dehydrated, but I'm not actually dehydrated. I know I'm not dehydrated. Um, my urine's telling me that, but lovely comment but yeah I know I'm not dehydrated but I feel dehydrated and I can't get any fluids inside me um, but yeah it's crappy can't wait to get in my jimmy jams have something to eat get in my jimmy jams or have a relaxing bath and then get in my jimmy jams oh tell my mum you guys know how much I love my bath this little monkey had a bath last night before comment he had a bath and um, we want comments. You want comments? What do you want them to comment about? Whatever, want. Whatever you want. Do you want to tell them to tell you what they've done today? Yeah? Anyway, he had a bath last night and he was a little monkey at bedtime. Um and come away from there, that's clean shirt. You've got dirty fingers. Come on, get down please. And by the time I'd gone to sleep, and I think Bob and I'd sorted what I needed to, I could not find Did the plug. Did you my charger? No. Couldn't find the plug for the bath. And I was doing my head in, and he'd only been asleep like five minutes by that point. So I just shook him and said, Alfie, do you know when you speak to children when they're half asleep? It's like, do you know where the bath, where the plug is for the bath on the sofa, he said. It was like, it's definitely not on the sofa. You meant mine. What, the plug for the bath? No, my, my plug. Oh, all oh, right, I see. Um, Was it even there, the plug? I don't know. So anyway, I pulled all the cupboard out, looking for it, thinking he'd taken it out and put it on there or something. The little monkey had put it in the overflow. It fits perfectly into the overflow. I was like, oh my God, I'm ready for pulling my hair out. Anyway, I'm gonna get something to eat and I'll speak to all in a bit, but a bit. I think I'm gonna take some extra painkillers um, and see if they help, because I am feeling really sore um, and we'll see. Oh, I can't wait for this. I have worn myself a bath. Ooh. I've lit in a candle, I'm gonna turn the light out once I come up here. And I've got my Lush 420 bath on, which has got 25, I think, milligrams. The bag just fell in the bath. Um, 25 milligrams of CBD in there, so we're gonna have a go with this. Um, it's got a quite a woody scent, which isn't normally kind of something I go with, so I'm gonna add um, some, I've got like bath oil, that's like a liquid and it's quite sweet. So I'm gonna add that in too, to kind of get rid of that, not get rid of, but take the edge off the, the woody type scent. It still smells good though, just not probably my first choice, but shall we see what it looks like in the water? Because the path of blush, that is, that is like the main thing for me. <laughs> Pretty baths. Dun, dun, is it going to be a heavy one? Oh no, it floats. I don't think it's going to make the prettiest bath, um, but... Pink and green! <laughs> I can't wait to get in this though. I hate, hate either flare ups or feeling like this, like on top of what we generally feel like. Um, it's looking pretty, you know. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I think I'm gonna. I've taken my night 10 meds and then I think once I get out of the bath I'm going to take some of my breakthrough medication, pain medication, um, which is something I take on top of like my day to day ones if I need it, which isn't, um, I don't get many of them so I try and push through a lot so 
for me to be thinking I'm going to take them, um, I just know I'm going to sit in that bed after I've had this and just not be able to sleep at all. Um, and I might have some of my Nature Cam products, which I had some earlier actually and I totally forgot to mention them. Um, I've got them in brownies or cookies. I've got a little like stash hidden away and the gummy bears. In fact, I might try... That has got 25 milligrams in and you're allowed 70 as your max dose. So I might have some gummy bears instead um, while I'm in the bath and maybe pray that that is enough because um, it could well be just enough so that when I come out of the bath I'm ready to sleep. Um, big box of gummy bears. I'll link the link down below. I've got, a dis I've got a discount code. These are gifted to me but I've been working with Nature Can now for in a couple of months it'll be a year so... Um, that is crazy. I tried, I did stop these for a while. Um, I stopped them for a couple of months to see if, and uh, not a couple of months, a couple of weeks, um, to see if it made any difference because there was people commenting that they'd taken CBD and had palpitations and stuff, to see if it made any difference to, um, to the, the palpitations and racing heart and stuff. And it made absolutely no difference whatsoever. So, um, yeah. But hopefully, there'll be something exciting coming really soon with Nature Cam. So keep your eyes out. Sorry, keep your eyes out for that on my channel. Um, and I'm gonna speak to you maybe a little bit after I get out of the bath. It's so pretty. The pink is a slow way dissolving, so the pink will take a while now to dissolve that bit, but I'm gonna get in here, I'm gonna turn the light off and just chill out with my candle lit and relax. <laughs> 